Hi, this is Hunter. I'm an applications engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the back end maintenance and backups and recovery type of stuff that you might encounter with uh, your technology database in CamWorks. So, first off, uh, let's talk about what you specifically might want to back up. So, if we go into our CamWorks data folder, uh, this really depends upon what you do specifically. Uh, but at minimum, you're going to want to back up your lang folder and your posts folder. Now the lang folder is where your technology database is housed. And additionally, the posts folder, of course, would be where your post processors are housed. Um, some additional folders that you may want to back up on a case-by-case -case basis are the tooling folder. And this is if you've created any type of custom tooling or uh, custom holders. Also the subspindle ops folder if you have created a uh, custom subspindle operation. If you use the machine simulator you might want to back up your uh, actual machine data in the machine sim folder. And anyone who uses EDM should back up the EDM folder. And if you use the CamWorks API, you would back up the API folder. But for most users, I find that just the Lang and the Posts folders are uh, the at minimum requirements for what you should be backing up. So now let's look at some of the tasks you might perform as far as, uh, okay, I have a backup now and I reinstalled uh, CamWorks and I want to uh, get all of my backup data into this new installation of CamWorks. Uh, this is also the same process that you would follow if you're upgrading CamWorks from one version to the next. Because when you install CamWorks over a previous version of CamWorks, it doesn't give you an upgrade option. Rather, it's just going to overwrite all of the files that currently exist in this CamWorks folder. So keep that in mind. If you're upgrading from CamWorks 2014, say, SP0 to SP1, you're going to install right over all of your existing CamWorks data. So it's important that first you back up everything, and then once the install is complete, everything is going to be back to the default settings. So you're going to have to take all that backup data and um, import it or migrate it into your new installation. So let's see how we might do that. In this case, I'm upgrading from CamWorks 2013 to CamWorks 2014. So I just went ahead and installed CamWorks 2014. And I want to get all of my 2013 data into the 2014 version of CamWorks. So I'll open up my 2013 folder. And I'm going to take any of my posts and my, uh, I don't need to worry about the lang folder, but I'm going to take my posts, my tooling, and any of the other folders that I mentioned that you might have made custom changes to, and I'm going to just copy those over to the new version. So in this case, I want uh, my tooling and my posts, and I'm just going to copy those with a Windows Control C. Go ahead over to the new version of CamWorks, and we'll paste them. And we're going to replace all of the existing um, files from the 2014 versions, or overriding them with the 2013 versions. All right, so now I have all of my uh, tooling information, um, but now I need to actually take my uh, my technology database and import it. And I don't want to just overwrite the technology database from one version to the next. It's a better idea to open the technology database and perform a migration. So let's look at that. I'll go to uh, the start menu, all programs, CamWorks, technology database, and I'll open up the technology database. And this is, notice my 2014 CamWorks technology database. And what I'll do is I'll go to the Maintenance tab, and I'm going to click on Import Database. And what that does is it maintains this current 2014 technology database, but it imports any of the custom settings or tweaks that I've made to my 2013 database, and it imports them into 2014. So I'll say Import Database, and I'll browse to the location of my old database, which remember was 2013, Lang English, there it is. And I'll hit next. 
and I've already backed it up so I'm not going to bother about creating a backup at this point. And what we can do is we can select only specific data to be imported. So maybe I don't use EDM and I don't use Milturn. So I don't need to bother with importing that data. And I'll just hit import. And the import runs uh, relatively quickly. And the advantage to doing this import rather than simply just taking your old database and copying it into the new location is if there's any improvements that Scamworks made to the technology database from one year to the next. Uh, furthermore, if there's any compatibility issues between versions, then you're going to avoid um, any type of issue you might encounter uh, due to that. And that's it. So I've already uh, it completes the import and now my 2014 database reflects any of the custom strategies, uh, tools or machines that I've uh, set from my 2013 database. A last step that I might want to do is run the compact database tool. And what this does is it actually takes uh, the database and it tries and reduce it in size just to make it perform a little better and it will actually go in and find any duplicate um, items that maybe are redundant or overlapping and it will reduce the file size of my database and this is uh, a, a good maintenance task to perform anytime you do an import database. There's one more button in here that we don't need to use at this point but that's the link database button and this is the button that you would use if you for some reason lost your uh, technology database or say you have multiple databases that you work with. What the link database does is it actually controls which technology database Camworks looks at for its information. So in this case I actually have two databases. I have one for um, performing Camworks demonstrations and I have one database for doing um, actual machining work. So when I want to actually go do machining work I'm going to click on link database and I browse to a completely different Camworks data folder that I use for my shop. And in here, I'll go to Lang English, and here's the tech database that I use uh, for actually doing work. And I'll hit next and link. And then next time I launch Camworks, I'll no longer be using the standard demonstration defaults. I'll be using uh, the database that I have customized to my own settings. So just to conclude, we've talked about uh, the basic backup and maintenance operations that you would like to perform on your Camworks Technology Database. I hope you found this content useful. Thank you for watching.